Hello guys, we're back again, and late as usual. For anyone keeping track, yes, we missed another video, but nothing had really changed and I was feeling lazy, so that's how things go. But we are ever so slowly starting to get moving again after our grand hiatus, so here we are with Dev Video 19. And we even have a full cast as well. I'm Matt. I'm Keith. And I'm Shannon. And that's everybody. So, Keith, you've been doing the vast majority of the work over the last few weeks and months. So what have you got for us? I've been making further progress into the game's AI. The AI players can now purchase resources and make it back to their teams. Also, the transfer behaviour will take into account those ships returning with the newly acquired goodies. There also exists an entirely untested cell behaviour for excess resources produced by industry or salvage from the um, void. So no known bugs! I'm not sure it works like that. Plus the underlying trade system needs a complete overhaul. Shh, don't tell the people that. That's right Matt, no known bugs! <laughs> yes. On the topic of bugs, we've been hard at work removing some that crept in, in the run-up to our first pre-alpha release. But I thought you said there were no bugs. That's correct, Shannon. No known bugs. <laughs> but what about the flying into the sun bug? Or the double disposal bug? Or the whole of the trade, movement and planet gen systems? Or the no atmosphere bug? The paused start display bug? Uh, features? Uh, <laughs> right, fair enough. Well, our first few pre-alpha builds may well be feature rich in that case. <laughs> but... The news here is that you guys at home can soon be enjoying discovering these anomalies for yourselves. We're thinking, what, one, maybe two more months of polish and bug, um, feature refinement? And then we should be able to make our first stable build. So, if you'd like to be included in our pre-alpha, leave us a comment somewhere, or get in touch with us, and we can go from there. Actually, back on the topic of progress... Uh, I've been doing a few bug fixes as well, uh, just recently, but as per normal, mostly arcane contrivances no one other than us really cares about, so not much to show you, I'm afraid. Wrong! We can show them that panning around and zooming on a planet is no longer weird. <laughs> yes, if anyone's been watching these videos for a while, this looked a lot worse previously. <laughs> but anyway... As we draw ever closer to showing people the true horror that is this game, Shannon, how's the state of our artwork going? Well, Matt, it's all been sucked into a black hole, but... <gasps> oh no! <laughs> really, it's a, it's a pretty rare system spawn, but if you're unlucky enough to have a black hole at the centre of your system, you'll see what's on screen right now. But enough about the artwork. I've gone through the archive of commits and pulled out a rather entertaining bunch. <gasps> it's a commit challenge! I've missed these. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not much of you, Matt, but... Oh. I'm done. Wait, I'm sorry. what? <laughs> right, um, we're going to start off with Keith. Commit 1707. Rebuild the AI to work with chassis-like things that may or may not be clones. That's correct. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You um, never know, they might be a clone. <laughs> then we go down to <laughs> 1684. Left a bug in when playing with profiles. I might be having too much fun with noise maps. I think that was straight after another one. You can never have too much fun with noise maps. <laughs> I, I had quite a lot of fun with noise maps. If you look at, I think, the previous three commits in a row are all to do with noise maps. And, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> and the four after it as well, I believe. <laughs> Noise maps, fun things. <laughs> and we have probably my favourite, because anything mentioning this is my favourite. 1619, disco mode, properly broken. It wasn't broken the correct way, so I had to break it again. <laughs> anything to do with disco mode is good in my book, so. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the winner, but um, I've got to give an honourable mention to 1623, where you've tried to standardise the console outputs. Yep, um, they needed to standardise a bit. Yeah, you you guys can see this on screen right now. Do you know what? I'm not even going to read these. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is, this is the stuff that comes up when we have errors and warnings. So uh, 
<laughs> interesting time all round when we're trying to post our stack traces. <laughs> That's right. Standardised, but not that useful. <laughs> Okay, and that's enough embarrassment for myself and entertainment for the other two. It's time for us to be on our way and get back to our programming. So, from all of us, goodbye. Bye. Bye. And don't forget to click on our social media links to keep up to date with all the stuff that we release, if we ever do it. And, if you're interested in signing up for our pre-alpha, leave us a comment here or get in touch with us via email or any other media you happen to know us on. As we draw ever closer to showing people the true horror that is this game, Shannon, how's the state of our artwork going? Don't put yourself down that much. <laughs> I didn't even realise that was in the script. <laughs> it is not, it's not a horror. Right, so, <laughs> okay. I'm not even going off script here. Come on. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs>